What did you think, uh, Senator, when you were accused by the host of not answering the question of would you vote for the Iraq war, not based on what we knew back then, but based on what we know now? And he said, okay, you're not answering I, the question. I've been very clear about where we need to go going forward. But we need to focus what about on the answering, needs. But what was your reaction when he said to you, okay, you're not going to answer the question, let's move on? What was your reaction when he said that? I think that? we need to focus on and have a real debate, the contrast between myself and Bob Menendez on this issue. He voted against our troops when they were in harm's way. It is clear that but the administration think, has uh, made uh, Senator, horrendous I'm, mistakes in the conduct of this war. Senator, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ask you, what did you think when the host said you're not answering the question? Did you think he didn't understand your answer? I've been very clear that I think there are horrendous mistakes that have been made in the conduct of the war in Iraq. And I said the administration has made these horrendous mistakes. That's why I called for Secretary Rumsfeld's resignation. But and you haven't why said if you'd vote for the war again, knowing what we at, know today. I, at the time. The but case today? was made. The, at the time, is it the case was made. This. Is it unfair to ask the question today? Is that why you won't answer that question? I'm saying people can look back and realize that 2020 hindsight, the information that the war, upon which the war was based was clearly flawed. It fooled Colin Powell. It fooled President Clinton. It fooled individuals, a, a bipartisan majority on both sides of the aisle, said this is in our national security interest. But why how did, would why you did vote Bob on Menendez it? How would you vote, vote on it that? if you had the right information? But what I'm going to do is go down to Washington, D.C. and make sure that we have the right information. Bob Menendez was the one who voted against, uh, or voted to cut intelligence budgets. Bob Menendez voted to decrease uh, defense budget. These are the things that led to not having the right type of information. And what we, need to, focus on, question, what we need to focus on going forward is a leader down in Washington, D.C. who can recognize the needs going forward. And part of those needs are real intelligence reform. That's what we need. We need real reform, including having all of the 9-11 recommendations implemented and making sure we've got those efforts to support our troops. Bob Menendez didn't support our troops when they were in harm's way. But they needed bullets. They needed body armor. They needed armored Humvees. They needed the combat pay in both Iraq and in Afghanistan. Bob Menendez voted against the bill that would do just that. But now what, he didn't wait, no, wait, no, wait, now, wait, now wait. if I may, if, now Bob Menendez is in a position that is supported okay. by the very fringe of his own party. Thirteen members of the United States Senate thought that the approach that Bob Menendez is now advocating is the right thing to do. President Bill Clinton realizes that this approach is, is impractical, he believes that others believe in his own party that, that this is dangerous. It could lead to a humanitarian crisis. It could lead to a terrorist havens being created. It could lead to failed states in the Middle East. I want our troops out of harm's way as quickly as humanly possible. But we need to find those solutions that can ensure bipartisan approaches to get our troops out of harm's way as quickly as humanly possible. We can focus, we need to focus going forward. What are we going to do to get our troops out of harm's way? Okay, what are we going okay, to do to ensure ask, the let security? Let me put it this way. If we need to focus going forward, if we were to run into an identical situation where we had the right information, which you urge us to have, as opposed to the wrong information, well, my, how would my, you vote? How would you vote in a my similar responsibility, situation? My no, 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 this is serious. This is serious. Is, is Don't the voters need to know how you would vote on an issue of war? That's what, I'm, that's what I've been trying to ask you for a couple right. of weeks now. My, how would you vote on an issue of war if you had the right mm -hmm. information? In this case, I, this I would, particular I would vote for those initiatives that protected our national security. Sending our Would troops this into harm, protect our sending, national security sending our troops, Saddam Hussein, even though he doesn't have weapons of mass destruction? Sending our troops into harm's way is one of the toughest decisions any individual can make. I've served as a volunteer firefighter and an emergency medical technician. I've run into harm's way when other individuals were running out. I understand the importance of making those decisions when individuals' lives, lives are on the line. So how would you and vote in we, this case if you had the right information? Going forward, listen, going it's forward, in, going forward, it, how would it, you vote if you had the right information we, going forward we need in to a ensure, future conflict like what this? What we need to focus on going forward is to make sure that we've got the right information. Okay, to make sure that our troops it, are better. If you have protected. it, if you, you know, it, how do you, you vote? know it's inappropriate to talk about hypothetical situations. What I will talk about is making sure that our troops are protected before they go in, as they're in combat, and going forward. But what we think, I think what we need to focus on is ensuring that they have the best type of equipment possible going into harm's way. My opponent voted against supplying these troops with the body armor that they needed, that the bullets that they needed, with the uh, armored home visa. Okay, let me, ask you this. let me ask you this. President Bush, uh, with Secretary Rumsfeld, whom I know you want to get rid of, mm -hmm. 
uh, sent us into Iraq without the body armor, without the armored Humvees, apparently without the ammo that you said Senator Menendez voted against, are you willing to say that the president should not have pulled the trigger when he did because they didn't have the body armor, didn't have the, the I, I've, armored I've been, MV, I've been Humvees? Very, I've been very clear. The president was had, wrong. Yes, I've been very clear. The president no, should I, not I'm have begun the war I'm then. Saying, should I, the no, president have begun the war then? What, what I am saying is very clearly that there have been horrendous mistakes made in the conduct of the war. And obviously the administration has made these horrendous mistakes. Should the which president have sent the troops in when he did if they didn't have the body armor and the bullets and the armored Humvees? I, we need a United States Senate. It's going to be in the United States Senate, fighting to protect our troops, making sure that when they go in to harm's way, that they have the bullets and the body armor and the combat pay and those efforts that Do we need make a president who does that? We need an individual at every level of government to ensure our troops are protected when they're in harm's way. Bob Menendez voted against the bill that gave our troops the ability to be protected. And I President think Bush that's sent wrong. them in without the protection, though. Bob Menendez voted to decrease defense budgets for years when he was in the House of Representatives. He voted to decrease intelligence budgets. I think those were the wrong cuts. We need to focus on those efforts that are going to ensure our troops are protected when they're in harm's way. Bob Menendez voted against our troops when they're in harm's What's way. What's the war mistakes then? Was the war? Was the war a mistake? I think we need leaders who are going to be in the United States Senate, who are going to go forth, protect our troops when they're in harm's way, not vote on plans that any serious policy solution, any serious policy leader realizes isn't a real policy solution. Bob Menendez is a Hudson County Party boss. He's not a military strategist. And what we need to focus on in the United States Senate are those individuals who work on a bipartisan basis to ensure that our troops get the support they need when they're in harm's way and that the, our intelligence agencies have the type of information they need. Right now, Bob Menendez voted against the reauthorization of the Patriot Act. Bob Menendez voted against the creation of the Department of Homeland Security. These type of programs were what allowed Great Britain to intercept the terrorists that are going to try to do us harm. We need to focus and ensure that we have the these type of resources and that the troops have the type of resources Maybe. they need to better do their job. What is your standard for when to go to war? You'll be in that position if you're elected Senate. You'd What's the criteria you would have? What proofs would you have to see? Well, I would read, ensure that the National Intelligence Estimate and read through that on a classified basis. I would focus on those efforts to ensure that what we did was internationally protected American lives and our, our interests. We need to focus on those type of efforts going forward. It's a very difficult sense, uh, approach to send our troops into harm's way. But we need to focus on have leaders who understand that difficult decision and realize that the stand needs to be very high and we protect not only ourselves but our allies when they're going.